I want to take you through the building of the Abacus Bathroom's modular construction concept. Now at present in the contract commercial market, if you like, there are only two options for building bathrooms. One is to get all the components in and all the various trades and assemble the whole thing on site. And the other way is to lower a pod in with a crane. But pods don't suit all types of building construction. The Abacus system is suitable for every type of construction and can always be fitted into a building even at a later stage. So this is a typical bathroom shell if you like. It's been constructed in conjunction with the Abacus design team and the architects. They know the dimensions and everything has been put into place to suit the drawing supplied by Abacus, which means the soil pipe is in and critically the junction and the waste for the shower and the basin are all in exactly the right height. Now it's very, very important that this is done to the letter, to the drawing, because it saves all the work and everything else will just fall into place once this is in position. So you can see we've got the hot and cold supplies coming in exactly where the drawing says and we've even got the electrics in so everything is ready to go. Now there are three reasons why the Abacus working wall system works so well for contract developers. First of all speed of build, second consistency of quality and third it reduces any remedial work afterwards because that quality is built in and everything's designed to be absolutely watertight. So the first stage in achieving that quality of build is to tank the wet areas. And we're going to do this with elements board and the ProSeal tape to make sure that everything within the shower area is 100% watertight. So the great advantage of this elements board is that it's an insulated board. It's very lightweight, but very strong. So it's easy to cut, it's easy to handle. And once it's in place, it gives a great surface for tiling onto a fantastic adhesion. So these boards come in various different sizes and thicknesses. And we're using a 12 mil board here and we're using the large ones so that we can minimize the number of joints inside the shower area. And most importantly, when we match up to the plasterboard it's exactly the same thickness so it's perfect for joining to other surfaces. Now just for good order when we're joining up to the plasterboard, just to make that waterproof joint perfect, I'm gonna put some MD seal down. Now, one very important point is that we get this shower waste in at the right height, because we have seen people hack out floors and do all kinds of things, which kind of undoes the good design of this system. So there are fittings around, this one from Jebra, this one from Osma, a variation on the elephant's foot, if you like, and both of these will take a low level shower waste in and you can see we're right down on the floor with it. If you get the right fitting, it makes the job so much easier. So now we've got the shower area lined out with that waterproof elements board. We still want to seal all the joints and the fixing points with ProSeal and tape just to make absolutely sure. But this line here of fixings, we don't need to worry about because they are within the pre-wall. So they're outside the wet area. So now we're ready to put the working wall in, but before we do, there's just the wastes to go in for the WC, the basin, and the shower. And to do this, we're gonna start with the shower because that's the lowest connection that we've got. Now, because this is a solid floor, everything's above the floor, the waste, we can't chop into it or anything like that. So in this case, Abacus make this upstand that goes in place, so the tray will go on top of it and everything is done above the floor level. So we get this, this waste in, this is the lowest one. So we need to do this first. So this waste is configurable and the way we're going with it, we're going to use this connection and blank this one off. Bit of solvent weld in the end of that and that will be blanked off. And this one, it says up on here, 
because there's a very slight drop, two and a half degree drop there. So when we put that in, we've already started the fall to the waste trap from the shower waste. It's a 40 millimeter waste, so it's a nice short run. It should be fine. So I've got a mixture of solvent weld and push fit here. I like the push fit on the saw pipe because it gives you that tiny bit of room for adjustment. And once I'm happy with the dry fit that everything is okay, I will solvent weld it up and then I'll give it a test. So now the wastes are in, I'm happy with that. And now we're gonna introduce the star of the show. The Abacus pre-plumbed working wall. Now this is a modular system. It arrives on site, factory fitted, fully tested. The time saving and cost saving over traditional plumbing is easy for everyone to see. <laughs> That's spot on. You just got to check all the measurements. It's all there on the drawings. And if you just make sure you get everything exactly in the positions indicated, you will not go wrong. So according to the drawing, I've got 1752 left. Let's just check this because I never take anything for granted. Yeah, that's just over. I've left a little bit for clearance, that's fine. So at this stage, I've got to fit a batten on the wall to pick up the edge of the plasterboard. So you'll see what happens there in the alcove. And also I need a batten horizontally to pick up the back end of the shelf. So I don't do this until I've fitted it in place because then I can be absolutely sure. Before I fix this, I want to make sure that it's all in line. That looks absolutely lovely. Okay, so what I can do is fix to the floor now, and then I'll fix the wall, the ceiling, and uh, we're ready to start crimping up the plumbing then. Okay, I'm absolutely happy with that now. It all looks good. It's all got a fall on it. That's lovely. Uh, I think I can solvent weld these up at this point now. So there's a little bit of clearance at the top here, obviously, so I could swing it up into place. And because all this has been worked out, we also know that there's some noggins up there to go straight into. That is absolutely rock solid. Over the past few years, I've become a real fan of these crimp fittings. One thing is that if you look that little hole there, if you see the white pipe in the hole, that's your witness. That tells you that the pipe is perfectly well in. And once you use these fellas, they won't release until they've done the job. That's it, that is perfect. So you've got to make sure this is square with that, and then that, and that goes on. So now we're ready to do the boarding, but it's just worth just checking. Everything is really secure, really solid, level and upright, and then you'll have no problems.
Now, just before I ball this over, I would just like to point out one feature of the Abacus working wall, which I think is particularly good, and that is this pipe work, because it's crimp fittings. It's a very high quality, multi-layered plastic pipe, if you like, and it can be machine bent so that it stays in position. So instead of having to use lots of fittings, we've got these lovely, easy bends on here. Obviously having fewer fittings means we've got less chance of any leaks, but the real advantage is that you get much better flow rates. It is markedly different using bends to using a load of fittings. Now we've done the tests on both the supply and the drainage and everything's looking good. There are no problems there and I'm ready to board up. Now, when I first started doing this, you had to cut around all these pipes make all the holes but they made a big improvement here the board now comes pre-cut so not only is it faster it's also cleaner there's no dust and it's a lot more accurate So this wall is now almost ready for tiling. Just some important little things I've got to do, and that is to put the basin bolts in, the WC bolts in, and the debris stopper over the front of the system, just so that the tile adhesive doesn't get into all those parts. I'll do those now. Now I'll leave those poking out around 60 millimeters. It's not critical because you can wind these in and out. You don't need to cut the bolts. It's the great thing. When you get the WC in position, you can adjust those bolts exactly where you need them. But the other thing that I do is I put a sleeve over the top of the bolt and obviously that protects it and stops any tile adhesive clogging the thread. Now the specification in this particular shower room is for this ducket. These are really great because you can keep your shampoos and everything inside them. Normally they would be tiled on the inside, but this one is actually pre-finished, which is great. Because I can't screw it, I've got a couple of little brackets at the top. Just check the level because the last thing you want is any water collecting in the back. So. Just as a detail, you can see there's a fall from the back to the front, so that's great. And the really good thing about this Elements board is that it's dimensionally stable. If you try to do this out of plywood or something like that, there's a chance of it moving, tiles cracking, everything else, you know. You've got steam in a bathroom, and that's a bad combination to have that timber and the steam. So the Elements board is really the way to go. So I just do a dry fit on this sub element. Now the idea of this is when you've got to put a waste above, obviously you've got to build up that shower tray slightly. This is a much better way of doing it than timber or anything like legs. It gives you a, a waterproof and very even solid support for that shower tray. Now you might think it doesn't matter which way around you do this, but you can see it's marked front. And the reason for that is that there's a tile that's going to go on the front that's going to finish flush with the shower tray. Now, when you apply the adhesive, it's worth checking that the floor is level and that it's got no dips in it because you may have to build the sub element up slightly to get it level. The fall is built into the tray, but we must make sure there's no backfall on this. Okay, so we're continuing this prefabricated theme. Everything is cut, ready to go. Let's just check it goes in. Yeah, that's a fit. So this is a solid surface trim that goes in the side and it's gonna match the splash back for the basin. So I'm just gonna pull it off the wall so it comes flush with the tile at the front. So we don't need to put any screws through this or anything. We're just gonna stick it on with the MD polymer. So I've just got a piece of the tile here so I can just set this exactly, just allowing a couple of mil for adhesive. Then we get a lovely flush finish there. 
So now we're just about ready to put the tray on, but before we do, there's one very important thing we must do. In the pack here, we've got some seals, and those seals are going to fit in place before the tray goes down. So the large one goes around the waist fitting there, and the smaller one goes around here. So we're perfectly happy, that's all sealed up. Solvent weld, that's all solvent welded up. And there's a little bit of movement there because we're going to, as we put the tray down, do the bolts up, this will rise up into position. Now, just before I put the tray down, I'd just like to say that obviously you try and keep the adhesive out of his trap. You don't want any adhesive on any of his rubber seals. And also, you don't need to put any kind of sealant on that trap at all. Some people think, oh, I'll put a dob of silicon around just for good measure. You do not need to do that. It's got a seal there. There is also this lovely rubber gasket that goes all the way around. So the water's coming through there. And once the bolts are on there, tightened up to the correct tightness, that won't leak. The great thing about this tray is it is lightweight. It's very strong, but it's light. So this tray that you've just seen me put in on my own, you can see how light it was. That would normally be a two-man lift, but this is the Abacus Axolite tray. It's very strong, very lightweight, and very durable. So when you bed this tray on, it's important that you just have it enough so that this tile at the front can go underneath flush, obviously allowing for adhesive there. So that finishes up flush with the front edge. Now, another key element in this bathroom is that we use the no more leaks tape. I always use this now around the back edge, around the sides, because it stops any chance of water ingress, any of those problems at all. You've got a perfect seal between the wall and the tray. But just one trick I've learned over the years using this is if you get some masking tape and you set that out from the wall, the thickness of the tile, then you can put the tape onto it. And when the tiling has been done, just go along with a very sharp standing knife blade and trim off any excess. And you'll find that it come away and it'll leave the perfect finish for that little bit of silicon. Now it comes to do the tiling, and normally I wouldn't do the tiling actually, I'll get a tiler in to do it. It would be a time consuming job cutting around all this. Not only is Abacus giving us a pre-cut elements board, they've also given us pre-cut tiles. And they're all numbered up on the drawing so we know exactly where each one goes. I think I can work this one out anyway. But this is really tiling by numbers. Now these tiles are six millimeter thick porcelain, which is thin, but it's very, very strong. And the great thing about this is that the production, it uses less energy. It's kind of for the environment because of that. It's really the way to go. It is the, the sort of modern solution, if you like. 